Hello and welcome back to Car Chat TV. I'm Oliver Tompkins. In today's episode, we're going to jump straight in to the 12 inch touchscreen infotainment in the Cupra for Mentor 1.5 petrol. So here we go. Here it is. And you've seen this in other VW cars and say it cars as well. All Coopers get a 12 inch touchscreen. This little button here will take you to the menu. And these are the little icons navigation radio telephone that's your when you press that's your auto carplay android auto oh, there's a guy called steve here let's go back and all these other little settings as well which we'll go through it, it's okay a lot of people have complained and said oh it's not very responsive i haven't had any issues as of yet and i think it's just a case of getting used to the software and, and how it works. So when you start, you've got these three widgets, uh, these little widgets here you can scroll. Um, here, oh, this is annoying. So these are these are touch buttons. And one thing I actually do is, every now and again, I do lean on this bit, which is the volume, which isn't great. But I normally just use the volume on the wheel uh, anyway. But these are the temperature controls, touch screen, like you've seen in other VW products as well. They are a bit annoying, but you do get used to them and they're not backlit, which isn't great. So we can scroll across quite handy. You've got parking assistance, air conditioning and a tutorial. But you don't need that since you've got my video uh, down here. That's obviously the sat nav. You can press that. That'll take you straight to your sat nav. These are shortcuts. So if you press and hold on a shortcut at the bottom, you can go through. You can press X to get rid of that and then you can add something else. You might want to add the store. You might want to add the legal notice. I don't know why. I'm definitely going to add back the navigation uh, there. So there you go. That's quite handy. A little trick. And while we're doing tricks, if you double tap on here with your fingers on the temperature controls, like so, you'll see the heated seats has just gone off. Because sometimes you want a quick shortcut, right, to get your heated seats on. There's three settings. So if I do that again, like this, it will take it down and turn it off. Works on this side as well, but it's a hot day and I don't want a hot bottom. So there you go, two fingers, just jab together and it will turn your heated seats on. Otherwise you have to press up here and click seat heating and turn them on. Okay, back to the menu. Always like to go back and let's go. Another shortcut which is good in this part is the car, which is what you're gonna use a lot of. Hit the car icon and then you get these options you've got parking and this is the v2 for a bit of background on the trim level so if we quick click the parking you've got parking assist you can use and you have to indicate basically and then you can start press start and it'll do it for you if you click here this is where you can get the camera up which is a bit annoying because i there's no button sometimes in, in cars you've got a quick kind of feature to hit the the parking, no, the camera button, sorry, to quickly get it up. But that is the only way unless you hit reverse and then it's going to come up on your digi dash. But okay, let's come out of that. And uh, parking distance control, that's where you can bring up these options and have a look at your different cameras you get with this trim. And some brightness and, and then settings here, parking distance control, maneuver braking. What does that say here? Active front volume, change your rear volume. That's a bit of an annoying noise, isn't it? Right, reduce volume when parking, open doors. All right, so there's some settings there you guys can see. Let's come out of that and something else. We'll go into the, this part we'll go smart assistance. Okay, so you can see by clicking that. Okay, I had to press that twice, that was a bit annoying. So you've got your adaptive cruise control information response to road layout response to speed limit if you click there it tells you maintains a consistent distance between you and the vehicle in the front with the speed limit you set have you can do that on the wheel as well but i'll do a separate wheel video because i like to keep these uh, pretty short um and then front assist on or off click the three bars what does that do gives you some more settings uh, to have a look at come back out move across we've got driving alerts driver alerts road sign display Driver alert system is going to wake you up to all beep to say if it thinks you need a break. And anything else? No, we'll go across here. Driver profile, here you go. Now, because it's not got the DCC, the dynamic 
chassis control. You don't have the Cupra uh, setting mode there. You've only got comfort, sport, and individual. And if you want to set your individual settings, you just go to configuration, and here you go. You can change your steering to, from comfort to sport, make it a bit stiffer, engine response levels, your adaptive cruise control, air conditioning, and then you can reset it. Or you can just go on comfort and leave it on there because it's the 1.5 petrol. Uh, we've got background lighting. Here's where you can do all of your different colors. Um, I want calm, that'll do, sort, sort out. And then you've got brightness there. You probably want it the most. Um, and then background light settings there, show functions. They're all on pretty much. And then after that, let's go back, driver profile, background lighting, settings here. So you can set the car lights inside. It's pretty intense. There's so much you can do within this infotainment screen. Some options there, you can go exterior settings, that's your comfort light, things you can change there, light animation, interior settings, infotainment. You can reset your trips in here, however you can do it from your steering wheel as well, which is probably a bit quicker. Change your brightness as well. Okay, let's come out of that. That is all of those systems from the car. So we've got the other top, we've got the time, we've got the heated steering wheel, heated steering, sorry. Yeah, you can, there is a heated steering wheel on there. There it is. Three settings there. Heated seats is what I meant. If you press this auto, this button is quite a small button as well. If you're driving along and you're trying to quickly press that, mate, you've got to try and do it when you're on a straight road. So here we go, press auto level it's doing it all right if you want it at level four and if you want to go to the air conditioning altogether just hit climate and again so many different settings you can do and turn that down and turn it yeah leave it on so i can show you so you literally just touch where you want the air to come out and and so forth then you've got here you can you can sync both of the temperatures with that button and then move it up and down. If I hit sync, there we go. It will do my passenger for me as well. I can move that up and down. And let's click off that. We've done the parking assistance. We don't want to do the tutorial. If you want your air conditioning, you can have it obviously in your widget here. Quick jab for defo uh, defrosting your front windscreen and your rear windscreen. Uh, circulation air, keeping the the uh, air inside your car on hot days you might want your air con to stay inside or if you're behind a, a sweaty van that's kicking out some dust or whatever you don't want it coming through your vents and you can jab that on this is kind of weird i press this this comes down and you've got this little guy with goggles which is kind of maximum privacy setting and if you click this this kind of explains itself if you change it it says no position data use my position and share my position data with everyone so they know to come and get you. Uh, pretty handy, I guess, if you have a bit of an accident. Um, come back off that. Then you've got your phone, where you can set up your phone, link your phone, obviously, do all your bits to ring people. We've got your Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, come standard, your media button, and or radio button e either, and then you can go over to your media, um, and you can connect that via here you've got USB A there and the USB C down there. Kind of that's good, helps it for everyone. And what's that? Settings, media settings, manage online, Wi-Fi settings. There's so many different buttons to press. Um, favorites. Alright, so you can favorite some of your brilliant radio stations that you guys like to listen to. Um, let's have a look if there's anything else. Driving data, that's quite a good one. There you go. You can bring that up. You can have a little look at your driving data. 450 miles left in my tank. It is full. Long term, there you go. One, 158, 23 miles, averaging 33.2 mpg. And what about the sense of the refuel? Right, okay, this is pretty interesting. Vehicle status, tyre pressure. All right. That's how you can set your all four tires and hit, hit set after you re re air them and driving data. There you go, vehicle status, anything. What's this service? I guess it will tell you when it needs an oil change and whatnot. There is literally so many different things you can 
you can look at from this 12 inch infotainment screen uh so i get what people mean when it's it's not intuitive or you know little things could be done a little bit better like oh i mean having the heated seats up the top is pretty kind of far away it's not it'd be nice to have a little button here maybe which would be good um there's an on and off button there what did i do I'm, let's have a look does that do anything nope um maybe if i press and hold ah there we go so it's a press and hold and it comes back on but i mean overall i found it pretty responsive you just have to look about for a few things but i think it's not going to be a big issue because if you're owning this vehicle you're going to get used to things pretty quickly it's only when you just jump in and you, you kind of have to have a little fiddle around and go oh what's this and press and and it and it gets to the the, the place hang on a minute have i got two shortcuts of a sat nav well, let's get rid of that and let's stick in ah let's stick settings in there why not okay there was something I did want to show you, actually. Conditioning. Oh, yes, air conditioning. So, okay, so here's another place where you can hit your heated steering wheel on and a few fast buttons to defog your front screen and rear screen. So, this keeps changing. This was front, rear, eye climate, anti clare, and settings. Uh, uh, anti care. Who's anti clare? There we go. Front, so you can change it. Click on the rear. Um, bit weird, I guess. I mean, you can set it here, but it's only going to come out in one area and then let's go on to eye climate this is kind of cool with fast track warm my hands warm my feet rapid cooling cool my feet and fresh air and defog the window so some some kind of you know fast track buttons there and then anti uh, this is cool so if i turn this on this is going to get rid of all the pollutants toxic dust that's in the air out of the car it's going to filter it out of the car and if you want to have a read of it you just press the i and it tells you if you activate this function fine dust and pollen will be filtered out of the air inside the vehicle pretty handy if you are a big hay fever person i do suffer from some allergies or if you've carried a cat or a dog or a bat or a squirrel and you want that horrible hair and dust out of the car i'm guessing that's one way of doing it so there you go is it done it already um, so I'm going to turn it off now anyway and then you go to settings and then there's obviously more settings that you guys can go through but there you go that is a quick rundown an overview of the Cooper Formenta 12 inch screen thanks very much I will see you on the next one